Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new video. Today, we are going to be looking at and reviewing a box that I initially wrote off. It's going to be 2022 uh, Rookies and Stars Blaster Boxes. So, I was kind of waiting for the longevity uh, boxes to come out, like a lot of people, but it seems like those are not going to be happening this year, and all of those parallels and autographs seem to be in these boxes now, in these blaster boxes. Um, there's a lot of hype around these now after people have started opening these a little bit more and seeing what you can get out of them. Uh, a lot of people are hitting tons of numbered cards, autographs, um, even RPAs out of these. And that's really cool to see out of a retail product. Rookies and Stars last year was amazing in the longevity boxes, um, but it does not look like those are happening this year. They are all in these boxes. So we're going to take a look at these and see if they are actually, you know, living up to the hype. Um, got them off Target at $30 a piece. Rookies and Stars is normally a Target exclusive brand. Um, at least that's the way it was last year. Um, out of here, we do get the uh, Blaster exclusive. Five red and two plaid per box on average. Find six rookies from the draft. Uh, 2022 draft class and then the big one one autograph or one memorabilia card but you guys know how I feel about the or with the autograph or memorabilia card but this is a different product it seems like the autographs are actually a decent hit rate in these so we're gonna have to actually see what we can get out of these three blasters um, on the checklist here we do have our numbered cards uh, you can get crusades and then the big kicker in here are there is longevity parallels. Um, so that is kind of what tipped most people off to uh, realizing that longevity boxes were not going to be a thing this year, unfortunately. Um, possibly could still happen. I, I don't have high hopes, though. But anyways, let's get into it. See what we have in our boxes. Um, six packs per box, 12 packs, or sorry, six packs per box, 12 cards per pack. So... 72 total cards in here all right but without any further ado let's let's kick it off let's see what we got in our boxes and if you guys enjoy the retail reviews and rips be sure to let me know down in the comments really helps me out and keeps the channel going all right let's see what we got so if you guys haven't seen it this is the base design um, you are going to see a lot of base in here, but you are looking for, hey, that's nice, a red parallel of Malik Willis. Very cool. And then a standing ovation of TJ Watt. Um, I'll actually put that over there. And then, ooh, Crusade Brees Hall. Oh, that's a cool card. So these are chrome, and behind that's an Evan Neal rookie. But, man, these are these are pretty cards. I Yeah, not numbered. But, whew, that's cool. I like that a lot. Big fan of Crusades. Um, I think I liked last year's design just a little bit better. But, definitely nothing to uh, write off off of that first pack. You know, these are a little bit more expensive. They are in that $30 range. Um, so, they are getting up there with the Mosaic and the Chrome prices. But, you know, they could be worth it. If you're hitting one to two numbered cards, possibility of an auto maybe every other box or so these are definitely worth it over mosaic in my opinion and we got a kirk cousins on the red parallel uh jermaine johnson draft class uh, man in motion justin fields and our rookie is going to be romeo dobbs very cool but yeah i've seen people pull some rpas out of here i heard someone hit a kenny pickett autograph out of one of these just a lot of cool things in here all right. Got Jonathan Taylor, Justin Fields, and then we're going to have a Malcolm Rodriguez. And then this is a... Oh, this is one of those rookie rushes. Okay. Um, George Pickens. Cool. And we got a standing ovation to a, and a uh, Jalen P uh, Petrie. like we have some more chromium in here let's see what we have oh okay so it looks like we did hit an auto in our first box so that's a very very good sign um let's yeah let's just pop it um Luis sign okay 
I've actually pulled a few autographs from him this year. Are you numbered? Uh, out of 299, you know, that's really cool. Out of a blaster, man, that's, uh, you will take, I will take any ink out of a blaster. It does not matter. It's just really cool to hit autographs in retail again. So first blaster is a su success. Very cool. Awesome. Okay. Then we got a Nick Chubb. A touchdown club of Patrick Mahomes. And then, ooh, I Hey, so nice we got him twice, right? I love this insert so much. Uh, we're going to have Skylar Thompson on the base rookie. I love this insert. This Thrillers insert. It looks like a movie poster. Oh, just so cool. And it's Brees Hall again, another guy that I like. So... Off of those four packs, I would definitely say that we got our money's worth um, from all the rookies, the chromium cards, the autograph. It's just really cool. Let's see if we can hit a numbered card. All right. We're going to have an AJ Brown. The red parallel. A Matt Corral. Uh, Cooper Cup and the Man in Motion, and then a Malik Willis on the base card. All right, so does not seem like we have any bait or uh, any numbered cards yet, unless I missed one. But looks like that could change here. Let's see. All right, Mac Jones. I, you always got to look. Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi look so similar. If this is an, I'm wondering if this is a second autograph. There's no way, right? Skylar Thompson, why are you backwards, though? Hey, he's numbered. Hey, really cool. Out of 175. Awesome. I know there's a lot of Skylar Thompson collectors out there, so that looks like the backwards cards are going to be numbered, if it's not an autograph. But very cool. Kind of a color match with the, the Dolphins there. Awesome. We'll take that. Then we have a Desmond Ritter, rookie on the Thriller. Uh, Malik Willis on the Rookie Rush, um, Alvin Kamara, Man in Motion, and a Malcolm Rodriguez. All right. Hey, that was a pretty uh, pretty cool first blaster. I guess we can go through the, the next two a little bit faster because now we know how these are set up. But, man, definitely worth it. So one numbered card, some Chromium cards, the autograph. Um, of course, the autograph makes it just a little bit sweeter. If you're hitting that mem, you're not going to be as happy. But... Let's see what else we have in our boxes. So far, I'm digging these, though. Um, I was really, really skeptical when I saw the $30 price tag on these. I was like, there's no way that these things actually live up to it. But, you know, if you're getting numbered cards out of here, autographs, ooh, game changer. These are still available on Target if I, um, at the time of this recording... All right, what do we got here? Nothing. Um, Isaiah Spiller on that red there, and then standing ovation. Uh, Jamar Chase. Ooh, Kenny Pickett on the Crusade. Hey, awesome. Not numbered. Really cool card, though. That is a nice hit right there. Awesome. You love to see it. Definitely rookies and stars. Hitting all the rookies and Daxon Hill. All right. So we are now about a box and a half, and just over a box in now. And these are impressive. These are very impressive. Got Jalen Hurts on the red, uh, Malik Willis, Najee Harris, Man in Motion, and then Trey McBride. And then, of course, Brock Purdy is in the set, so should be looking for him as well. Okay. Got Gino. Gino in his Seahawks uniform. Very cool. Um, don't want to flip them all. Okay, here we go. Isaiah Likely. Nice there. And then we're going to have a Kenny Pickett on the rookie rush. Awesome. Standing ovation, Rodgers. And then a Brian Cook. I actually don't think I've pulled much of him. All right. This is definitely thick. So I know you can get RPAs out of here. 
if it could be a mem card, but could also be an RPA. More than likely a mem card though. Gonna have a Minka Fitzpatrick and it is, hey, it's player worn though. Let's take a look at this. All right, I mean, it's just black, but it is player worn. You don't see that anymore. Awesome. We'll take that. All right, then we got Amon Ra. Got Touchdown Club, Jamar Chase, and then we have a Thrillers of Justin Jefferson in the checkerboard. Awesome. And a Keontae Ingram on the rookie card. Very cool. So, you know, even though it was a mem, it was player worn. I'm guessing that Panini had quite a bit of signatures to be able to put in all of these blasters and everything. So, I don't know. Maybe we can get two out of two out of three for autographs. Got a DeAndre Swift, a red Jalen Tolbert, Man in Motion, um, and then a Drake London on the base rookie. All right, last pack out of this box. All right, what do you got? Hopefully we see another numbered card. Mike Evans, and then we're gonna have a Silver Crusade of Drake London. I don't, now I would assume these are a little bit more difficult to pull. <coughs> um, yeah, a little bit more difficult to pull than the uh, checkerboards because I think those are kind of exclusive, but let's see. So it does not look like we got a numbered card in here, unless that cr Crusade is numbered, but I doubt it is. It is not, but very cool card. Drake London is a good player. Just in the silver here. So no number, no numbered cards in that box, unfortunately. Cool. All right, let's see what we have in our last blaster. And thank you guys so much for sticking around this long. Really means a lot to me. Just love sharing the, the love of the hobby and everything. All right, last box. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll just fly through the base. Gonna have a red Hassan Haskins, and then we got a checkerboard crusade of Joe Montana. Pretty cool there. We'll take that. And a Carson Strong on the rookie. Okay, pack number two. Base, base, base. And our red is going to be a Terry McLaurin. And then some inserts here, Jermaine Johnson, Man in Motion, and Jelani Woods. Okay. Got a Jared Goff. Rookies will be on the back here. We got a Daxon Hill. It's gonna be another rookie rush. We're getting a lot of Steelers in the rookie rushes. Standing ovation of Tua and a Brian Robinson on the mem, or not the mem, wow. Um, the uh, base rookie, wow, <laughs> brain fart. All right, looks like we have, ooh, okay. Um, this could be a numbered card or it could be an autograph. It's gonna be, Isaiah Likely, that is an auto. Ooh, okay. Look at that, Isaiah Likely autograph out of 299. Man, these boxes are loaded. All right, I'm calling it. <laughs> that is a, that's a nice auto. He is a promising young tight end. He had a really, really good season for um, a rookie tight end because it normally takes them like, um, it takes them a few years that that's that position in particular takes a few years to get up to speed with the NFL, but you know he he was catching touchdowns on day one. Now we got touchdown mass or touchdown club Mahomes, and then we have a Derrick Henry on the Thrillers, very cool, and then a Devin Lloyd on the rookie. Man, so we got two autos, 
one mem in our boxes. I will take that. That is very, very cool. All right. Got Kyle Pitts. Would love to see one more numbered card. Um, David Montgomery. We got Cooper Cup, Matt Corral, and a sauce on the rookie. All right. Last pack. Let's see what we got. gonna have ooh it's a laser parallel is that what that is that is cool oh man it's numbered out of 80 oh oh that's awesome um justin herbert on the airborne so these are the longevity parallels these are what are supposed to be in the longevity boxes but man that is awesome a numbered herbie out of 80 very cool. We'll take that every time. Awesome. And then we're going to have... Oh, didn't pick them all up. We're going to have a Thrillers of Joey B on the Silver, Rookie Rush, um, Alvin Kamara, and then Jaquan Brisker. So, man. Yeah, these were these were definitely loaded. Let's take a look at you know our hits. Um, we'll take a look at our Chrome cards and our better rookies right now. Um, so, as you guys can see, tons and tons of color. The chrome is awesome. Um, gonna have a Brees Hall on the checkerboard here, Malik Willis on the red. And then, you know, we had some bigger cards too with the uh, Justin Herbert numbered out of 80, uh, 46 of 80. We have a Isaiah Likely auto, um, a Drake London on the silver, Kenny Pickett Crusade, uh, Skylar Thompson numbered to 175, and Louis Sign on the autograph out of 299. So yeah, I could definitely endorse this product. I mean, it wasn't just one blaster was good. It was all three of them were very good. So I would definitely advise you guys to pick these up. If you're looking for some retail to rip right now, these seem to hold a lot of value, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments and remember to like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.